This is an MQ-135 air quality sensor. It detects a whole bunch of stuff, including VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Um, basically things that really stink pretty bad and it can be kind of dangerous in the air. So um, I've got it set up here in digital mode because the Raspberry Pi accepts digital input. So you can see it's set up to D0 there, D0. A0 would be the analog, I'm not gonna use that. The other pins are pretty simple, I mean, it's just ground, I've set to the brown one. And the red one here for plus five volts, and I'll show you them in a second, but let's just show, show you how this works. So basically, it detects things like this, hand sanitizer. So because it's set to digital mode, if I put a tiny bit of this in my hand, oops, I get all the Raspberry Pi. Oh well. So it should go green when it smells this. Smelly. 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 Come on, waft. Waft. There we go. <laughs> I can smell it now. Okay, there you go. So it's detected something stinky in the air. All right. And uh, if I just blow on it now to kind of clear it, it should go back to normal. So digital meaning it detects something, it goes green, it doesn't detect something. Oh, there it's, it's, see, it's picked up the residue of it there. Nothing. Okay, so, um, whereas if I hooked up to the analog sensor AO on something like an Arduino or a microbit that has analog inputs, um, it would return a value between one and, well, a number, let's say, I don't know, 1,024 or something. Um, so I can measure how stinky it is, but this is just purely, it gets something it doesn't. Um, you could attach a digital to analog or analog to digital converter to do it for the Raspberry Pi, but this is fine for what I wanna do for right now. So let's just show you um, how the code works. So for the MQ-135 air quality sensor, this is the Python code in the Raspberry Pi. This is importing the GPIO and stuff like this. You're using pin four uh, as a GPIO in. If you don't know where that is, I put it down here. Look, there's a nice drawing of it. Pin number four. And um, my five volts is top right and kind of count three down to find your ground. So they are the different connectors on the, on the sensor there. So um, all this program is doing is the following, right? The try and finally basically that just lets the program run and then if it encounters an error, instead of crashing out red text, program stops, it goes, oh, I was kind of expecting that error. So it just goes to finally and it runs this before finishing the code. Okay, so uh, this while true repeats these three kind of lines. So, um, and then this says, if the input for now you don't have to say is true because if this input reads uh, five volts or is true or is one or high, what do you want to call it? Um, this becomes true. So that's basically just saying if true, print this. Else, well, there's only other one thing it could be. You could write if false, but like, or you could if write if not this, but like else there's only other one outcome which is it's doing something else so i'm reading false then pause it just to give it some time so you're not getting spammed a million different readings all right so if i press play and run on this it's currently reading false on gpo4 okay so what i need to do is to just pop over here i need to get the little screw and just twist it so that the light goes off let me just do that now Great, so it's gone to true now. And what I've done is I just turned the dial back on the screw just a little bit so that green light went off. That's a digital signal indicator. Um, just so it's gone off. That's it. now it's right at the tipping point. So the slightest increase in the digital signal then will we'll tip it over the edge and change um, a true to a false or vice versa. So um, which one is it? This is kind of where it's a bit weird. Uh, technically, that thing, even though it says I'm reading true, means it's not reading anything. This is kind of backwards in that it's 
not detecting state is true, and it's, oh, I get something, it's false. Okay? So it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like having a, a, a target up, and if the target gets knocked down, the lack of a target means something just hit it. Okay? So it's, it doesn't necessarily um, go the way you first think it would be. All right? So um, if I go over and breathe on it now or bring alcohol near it, that will switch from true to false. And that actually means that it's detecting something, which is weird. But there you go.